Morning folks, um, horses, horses, horses everywhere. I was talking to uh, somebody the other day about horses. Um, I actually enjoy horses, painting them. I'll just turn this on. Uh, let's see what there is. Um, all of these are painted, all with the same color and all look totally different shade wise. That's mainly with the inks and washes that I put on them. Very quick job. I use what I call a dirty palette. So I literally add one color and then just keep adding and adding and adding colors um, to it. Um, just stop that there now. Yeah, so we've got a basic brown. This is my basic brown undercoat, which I put on in a wet, a wet sort of mush. And we'll just open up. It's actually a household paint. Oops, a bit of paint there. That's the colour. Difficult to show because it's in the wet, but it's just a, a sort of muddy brown. And if I can just show you there, just turn it, that's as it looks in the pot. It's actually a Valspar, <laughs> Valspar Boston Brown Bread. That's what I like using. It's the one, sort of a red brown, but it works for me. Uh, I know a lot of people struggle with the horses and don't like their horses. And, oh, I can't get the lid on there. God, come on, man, get the lid on. Right, but there, there we go. So that's that's the basic horses. Now, as you can see, all the various shades. All I have done is shaded using what have I used? I've used um, uh, smoke. I'll just pull the camera back a bit. Actually, I need to. Yeah, I've just used. Um, well, I chose smoke, game color, marron brown. What else did I use? I used um, a quick, quick shade mid brown, and I've used a game ink sepia. So those are the four colors, or shades, or mixes, or whatever you want to call them, just mixed in on these horses to give from very sort of ready browns to. Uh, uh, more ready browns, what have we got? Uh, dark browns, and a very dark brown one here. Almost black, but here's brown. And for me, it gives me the shading. Now, I'm not everyone will be happy, I suppose, with it, but, but I am fairly happy with the way these work. I'll just put the on the magic roundabout again. And there you can see the shades. Uh, these are my French knights, or these will be French knights going to get on with the rest of the horses the rest of the uh, sorry the rest of the figures and that tonight um, may get them done to no I doubt if I'll get them done tonight it's too much to do it's Sunday night and I can't be bothered to do too much but I'll get on with the horses but I just thought I'd show you the various shades etc etc that I'm picking from basically one color um, and a wash um, you know, I particularly like this brown horse at the back here. I do like the way that shape. That's with the, um, what was that? That's using mid-brown. That's got a mid-brown on it. The dark one's got a sepia on. The ghost, is it ghost? What's it called? Sorry, smoke, not ghost. The smoke is a new one. It's a lot darker than I thought. I thought it was going to be a light color um, to go onto a white, but it's quite dark. But it, uh, it's a different, um, different shade to sepia so it gives you another option for horses I mean I can rattle through these um, these quite quickly I think they look good and not everyone will I understand um, I used to do lots of dry brushing and shading of horses three four five six coats to shade up but this is just so much quicker for me and it works for me uh, and I'm happy with it so uh, right Next we'll be getting on with the um, all the trappings and the saddles. That's my next job and then to the metal work because these are knights horses. They've got uh, chamfrons and various bits and pieces of chain mail. So just a little show and tell how I do my horses. Thanks for looking and bye for now.